Hello and welcome to Natural World Facts. I'm here in a woodland looking for one of Britain's most endangered mammals, the red squirrel. In England, it's hard to find red squirrels because grey squirrels, which were imported to Britain from America as they were fashionable in the late 1870s, brought with them the squirrel pox virus, a disease which is deadly to the native reds. Therefore, you will hardly ever see the red squirrels, but you're sure to see plenty of greys. So I have come here, halfway across the channel, to Jersey, where there are no grey squirrels at all, so it's the perfect place to find some reds. So we've set up this squirrel box with nuts in and we're going to take a look and see if any squirrels come to take any nuts. And we think this is a good spot. I've just spotted that at the top of this tall tree, there's a squirrel nest which is called a dray, which they make using twigs, leaves and moss, and it's just up there. The red squirrel is the UK's only native species of squirrel and was once common across the UK, but now is listed as near threatened due to the introduction of the non-native grey squirrels from America. The greys carry a disease known as squirrel pox virus, which does not seem to have any effect on them, but can be deadly to the native reds. Red squirrels inhabit coniferous forests and deciduous woodlands in Scotland, Northumberland, Wales, Northern Ireland, and the Lake District. They are most active in the mornings and late afternoons. Red squirrels are recognisable by their red to russet fur, ear tufts and long fluffy tails. The colour of their coat can vary with some reds appearing very grey, brown or even black. They have a white underside and grey squirrels are much stockier and rounder without any ear tufts. Red squirrels are very elusive and spend most of their time in the tree canopy. They often communicate with a squeaky vocalisation noise. Red squirrels have a mainly herbivorous diet that includes seeds, hazelnuts, green acorns, fungi, bark, and sapwood. They also occasionally eat insects, young birds, and birds' eggs. Reds do not hibernate, and in autumn store fungi in trees to eat over the winter months when they are less active. When food is plentiful, they put on weight in autumn to keep them warm over the winter. This is very important for breeding females for producing young in the spring. Red squirrels build large nests called drays high up in the forks of tree trunks and are usually solitary, only coming together to mate. In February to April, they produce two to three young called kittens and often have a second litter from May to June. Outside of the mating season, red squirrels tend to live alone but put on courtship displays called a mating chase through the trees in the spring. Thank you for watching Natural World Facts. See you next time.